Good audio can make or break a podcast. And I've been podcasting for over 15 years, most of that audio only. And even now that I do both video and audio, I want to make sure that that audio sounds pristine and my audio listeners get the best experience possible. But I'm a solo creator. I can't have it take hours of editing. So in this video, I'm going to share some AI tools that can speed up the process when I really get granular in that audio editing and how to make even built-in microphones sound studio quality. So this is my weekly podcast that I record with a co-host. We do video and audio so we can share clips, but making sure that audio sounds pristine is important, both for the video and if you just have an audio only. So I'm gonna jump into the Riverside editor here, and this is where you can do all your editing. And the first place I go is the AI producer. There are a bunch of tools that help me jumpstart the process, things like removing silences, and I apply that to every one of the recordings. You can actually choose how fast you want the pace to be. And Riverside even tells you how many pauses and how much time it's cutting. For a full-length podcast episode, I'll typically go in one of these two middle parts. But if it's a vertical video, like for TikTok or Instagram Reels, I'll go for the fastest paced option. Now, you can also choose to remove filler words and unwanted sounds. Depending on how you and your co-host record, you can choose to do that. Me and my co-host have been doing this for a while, so I'll actually skip the remove filler words for now. Again, if you have a guest that had lots of filler words, I would definitely apply that. And you can also find fluff. That's gonna look for portions of the recording that were kind of filler, didn't really have to do with the topic. And I can choose to cut that out. And I've edited the audio even while I'm using those AI tools. Now, if someone recorded with a built-in microphone like on a laptop or even a mobile device, which you can record with the Riverside app, you might need to apply magic audio. This is gonna make any microphone sound studio quality, remove background noise and all of that. Me and my co-hosts have pretty professional setups, so I'm not gonna apply that right now but I will apply Smart Mute. And to see the full effects of what Smart Mute does, I'm gonna open the individual track editor in Riverside, which if you didn't know, you can choose this right here to expand the tracks, and then you can get to really granularly edit the audio for every person in the recording. I'll zoom in a little bit, and now I'm actually going to apply that Smart Mute, because Smart Mute is going to mute tracks when someone's not speaking. And it helps the audio be really clean if someone was tapping their desk, or maybe there was some background noise like an air conditioner, now their track is muted, so when they're not speaking, you won't hear those noises. Now that's given me a huge jumpstart in editing the audio of my show. And remember, when you record with Riverside, you can record audio only. When you do, the Riverside editor will look like this. You still get a full transcript of the entire recording. You can still expand the multiple track when recorded with Riverside and apply all those same AI tools. Now, when you record video or audio only, you get this full transcript, and then you can just select text and click the trash can, and you've edited your audio that easily. Also, silences are represented by these dots, and you can always select those, click the trash can to delete any smaller silence, and filler words and unwanted sounds are these squiggly lines, and you can delete those manually as well. Now, when I'm ready to get really granular about the audio, I'm gonna zoom in, and here I can see both me and my co-host audio, and these waveforms reflect the full recording. If there's ever a moment where silences were cut, but it might cut off a little bit of audio, I'll roll my mouse over that audio waveform and then click and drag the line on either side to expand what is being heard. Now that also applies to crosstalk or maybe unwanted sounds. I can see here where my talking stops and my co-host starts talking, but this might be a little distracting. So I'll just click and drag this vertical line and I've cut out his crosstalked audio. Now I'll go through and maybe mute or unmute certain portions of each track and if there's a spot I want to delete, of course I can do it from the transcript, but I can also just select a portion here in the timeline by clicking and dragging, click the delete key on the keyboard, and I've edited my content that way. And as you're editing, Riverside keeps everything in sync, so you don't have to worry about anything becoming off. Again, if I see any unwanted sounds, I'll drag those to mute it, and I'll make sure all of the audio sounds pristine. Now there are some other tools here which can really help if you need to apply EQ and adjust how certain tracks sound, depending on microphones or recording environments. For more audio adjustments, I'm going to open the Tracks panel here on the right, and you'll see every person is represented individually. Now I can go and adjust their volume manually if I'd like to do that. I can also apply that magic audio to make them sound studio quality, but you're also going to see a new tool here, which is EQ. Now you can choose from multiple presets to make sure someone sounds just right. Maybe someone sounded a little muddy due to the mic they were using or the environment. Well, you can choose crisp and clear and the EQ will be applied just for that track. You can also choose muffle free or bass boost if you wanted to increase that low end just a little bit. And for those with a higher pitched voice, maybe try the high cut, which will just reduce the sharp higher end sounds a little bit. I'm gonna add the intro music to the podcast and you can do that using the music tool here on the right. Now there's an entire royalty-free audio library that you can search and apply tracks however you'd like because they're royalty-free. You can also upload your own audio using this upload tool at the top. So I have my podcast intro here. 
I'll click the plus icon. And I like the intro to start on this kind of larger part of the music, or kind of when the beat comes in. So I'm gonna drag that in point just a little bit, move this to the beginning of the recording. And then I can click the three dots on that background audio track, change the volume to make sure it's not competing with our voices. And you can choose a fade in and fade out. I usually go with two for a fade in and a four second fade out. Now, if you have multiple segments of your show, maybe a sponsor break, you can add multiple pieces of background audio. Just open the music tab again, select one of the tracks or upload your own, and you've applied that here to your audio. And just like that, I have a clean edit ready to export from my podcast host, or I can export an uncompressed WAV file if I wanna use this elsewhere. But the real magic is if I recorded video, I can just bring the video back and all of my edits to the audio, adding the background music and getting that perfect edit just right, it still applies to my video. And now I can export both the video and audio with all my edits. When I'm ready, I can go up to export, choose up to 4K video quality if you recorded that, or you can go over to audio, export an uncompressed WAV file or an MP3, which is perfect for a podcast host. And the best part is you can do both. So I'll export a 4K video from this video podcast. And then on this pop-up, I'll choose keep editing. It keeps all of my edits, my brand, any animated captions I've added. And then I can just go back up to export, choose audio MP3, and now I have a fully edited video and audio file ready to publish. And that's how to get great sounding audio every time you record with Riverside. You can record, edit, and export completely for free and even live stream. Just check that link at the top of the video description and you can start today. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button. Lots of videos on how to use Riverside, the AI tools to speed up your editing process, and even magic clips and other AI tools to find engaging moments and share those clips on social media. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I answer those personally, and I'll put one of those AI editing videos right up here. And if you're wondering, should you add video to that audio podcast that you're doing now? The answer is yes, but I give all the reasons why, including the latest studies on how many people are watching video versus audio and how to reach a wider audience. You can check out that video right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.